Hello colleagues, my name is Claudia Abar and I am a teacher in District 4. I'm also your virtual content specialist for Kindergarten Math. For today's video, we're going to be looking at the first part of this day. We're looking at Unit 6, Day 1. This is a two-part lesson. And in it, our focus question is going to be the use of the words first, second, and third. We're also going to show you some of the um, slides that we're going to be using in a student-facing video to better support this lesson. Let's go ahead and get into it. The implementation guidance is going to be found on slide number three. And it says students and teachers should gather the following materials for the lesson, about 10 toothpicks of the same length or chopsticks, straws, pencils of the same size, a small bowl of clay or Play-Doh, a pencil, ruler, straight edge, and pieces of paper. We're going to begin by introducing or reminding really the students of the words uh, first, second, and third through a brief game. So we're going to say, listen to my directions. First, stand up. Second, put your hands on your shoulders. What did I ask you to do first? Stand up. What was the second thing I asked you to do? Put your hands on your shoulders. Good, and we're gonna continue and we're going to be doing this uh, until we have additional practice of first, second, and third. Push your children, make sure that they are listening. Maybe incorporate some additional steps in there. Maybe make it a Simon Says and make it a little bit harder. You know your children better than we do. We wanna make sure that they remember first, second, and third throughout the game because this is going to help them with the lesson. So now let's go ahead and look at the actual lesson and some of the work that you're going to be doing. You will be doing your launch here, which is uh, the game that we're doing. And then you're going to be doing some explorations. Here, we are going to arrange the sticks that they have collected to make a flat shape. Second, you will use bits of clay to connect the corners of your new shapes. Third, you will count the number of sides and corners of your shapes. Now we have to make allowances for children who might not have these things. So a lot of our children who will not have these tools available at home. And I know we're all, we have been asking for things throughout the year. So if your children do not have them, please remind them that we do have this app. It's called the Pattern Shapes app, and I will show you how to access it in a few minutes, in which the children can actually just practice with these shapes. Let's go ahead and click on the triangle. We're gonna put the triangle in the center, and we're going to, to ask the children to draw how many sides the triangle has. And there's a few ways that they can do this. They can trace this one first, which is exactly what I'm going to do and then create my own. So I'm going to do one, then side number two, and then three. Now your children would then be able to transfer this slide over, the scale, excuse me, over, and they can do this. You might wanna tell them to just use this without the actual pattern shapes. You might just tell them to go ahead and create the shapes on their own to so tell them, go ahead and draw a square for me. Great, so let's ask them to draw a square. And let's remember that they need to be reminded consistently of how many sides we're looking at, because some of them might remember what the square looks like, but they do not know what the sides are. So we wanna make sure that we point to the sides. And for that, let me change the color. How many sides? Do an X on each side. One, two, three, and four, remind them that the sides are what make the shape. We also wanna highlight the corners. Maybe you wanna um, show a different color for that. Let's do those in green. How many corners? One, corners are where the two sides meet. Two, three, and four. Now, if your children cannot access the materials at home, this is one additional way that you can do it. Let's go back into it. And then your children will be doing this independently. Now, just to help you, just to guide us, actually, we are creating a video for your students on how to draw within the slide, how to add the extra shape. As a reminder for you, one way to do it is to come up here to the tool um, settings, select the line option, and then you can just go ahead and draw it from here. Let me make sure that I center it. Mm, I tapped on it before, and I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> just make sure that you center it and then drag it down. There we go, the line is set. Now the number of corners, we will move this dot to it. And this is what your students will be asked to do. So now your students might have some difficulty with this. Make sure that you remind them before sending them off on their own of the size, which one are we going to do first, second, and third. So the first was to draw the missing line. 
The second was to draw to drag a red counter to each of the corners. And the third step is to type the number of corners and sides into the blue boxes, which I will do here, and the number of sides. Now, we will be adding these slides, which I'm about to show you right now, to a video with your students, which you are free to share or recreate on your own. And in it, it will also have additional tools for them on how to access the Pattern Shapes app. This lesson correlates with Unit 6, Day 1, and it is Part 1 of the lesson. We hope that you found this video useful. We'll see you soon, families, colleagues, excuse me.